I believe in the Bible. Okay. So anything the Bible says, I agree with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cause the, the Bible is God's word. But you do know physically that, you know, uh, you know, they talk about a lot of things in the spirit realm, but you know, the devil is you and the devil and God is you. You do know that, right? This interview seemed to have happened like some time ago, but it started making the rounds. And the lady who's doing the interview's name is Tasha K. And so she is an influencer, someone who has a podcast. Uh, I forget the name, but we'll pull it up in a second here. And she basically has her guest there, just a regular podcast. And she had this young lady named Whoa Vicky, who is an influencer. She's been apparently on the you know social media scene for a long time. And she has recently been talking more and more about her uh, newfound faith, her her uh, direction as far as moving closer to God and learning more about, you know, the Christian faith and wanting to live her life for God. As we watch this clip, I'm not going to spoil everything for you. all Let's get into it in a second. But as you watch this clip, I just want you to take note of this lady's tone as she's questioning her. OK, we'll figure out where we're going to stop and all that stuff. But let's get in here and then y'all can see what's going on. All right, let's go. I mean, I'll say anything. I just sometimes just don't know what to say. It's like it, I'd rather like somebody got to ask me. I don't sometimes like I do ask God sometimes like, God, what should I say uh, to these people um, so they could like, you know, use me. I'll be telling God, use me. Like, let your light shine through me. Let me bless somebody through you. Mm -hmm. So it's like if I talk about it, it's because I want other people to know about God. But. Yeah, sometimes I just don't know what to say. Like, I'll just, it's better if I have someone asking me. Like, if somebody asks me, like, hey, why did you do this? Then I can answer. Okay. Yeah. You believe God wants you to change? I'm I'm good now. Okay. I mean, he wants me to be, I, I, want, I want God to help me be the woman, the woman of God he called me to be. What if you were already that? Then, 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 then I'm doing, I'm doing it right. Okay. Yeah. That's why I noticed too is sometimes you know the church, Justin Bieber went through it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go through, it, especially celebrities, in their journeys. And I, I, I noticed that, you know, it's it's like they come in and they try to brainwash. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Who? People like yourself, like me. What the church? Yes. Oh no, nah, I don't agree with that. You don't? No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Can y'all see what this woman is doing right here, man? Like this is. Uh... This to me is just outlandish, man. This is outlandish to me where you have this lady right here trying to discredit everything that this young girl is talking about. <laughs> and, you know, now she's talking about, you know, she, then she says, oh, you know, Justin Bieber went through it. And then she says that the church tries to brainwash you. And now now she's getting this pushback from from Whoa Vicky about this, right? Saying like like nah, I don't agree with that. Like no, that's she's basically saying like that that hasn't been my experience. I'm out here trying to learn these things. And again, this lady's trying to 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 diminish everything she's saying, discredit it, make her kind of sound like maybe she's not quite thinking about this carefully, right? It's all very strange, man. It is all very very strange why is that um i believe in the bible so okay. anything the bible says i agree with it okay because mm -hmm. the the bible is god's word okay have you read the entire bible yet no nah, not the entire bible okay yeah so you know there's a lot of strong contradictions in the bible i'm not here to challenge your faith like what? Your, your faith is your spiritual mm -hmm. is your spiritual relationship with god but you know a book is another thing mm -hmm. and so um being that you are so young and you have your entire life ahead of you mm -hmm. i just you know hearing you talk about god so much mm -hmm. it's coming across as if you are using it as a um as protection no i mean this is me Look at her face, y'all. Like, what is going on here, man? Like, what is going on? Like, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Look at this face. You know, like, I mean, <laughs> oh, man. She seems like she's almost like disgusted at the mere fact that Whoa Vicky said, I believe the Bible is the word of God. And whatever the Bible says, I agree with it. Like she is disgusted at that. And then threw in the classic cliche, um, just talking point of the Bible having contradictions, right? The Bible has 
contradictions and going on, you know, to say simply because, you know, Vicky hasn't read the whole Bible as though it's like, oh, okay, well, you, you're not there yet. You're not there where you see the contradictions. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not there yet. Maybe when you, you know, when you level up, you see the contradictions. And if you notice, I know it's hard to hear, but Vicky said, like, what? She actually said, like, what? And this is the question, man. Listen, whenever you get this question, you need to ask people, where are these contradictions? Ask folks, what contradictions exactly are you referring to? Because nine out of 10 times, it's a talking point that people have heard. And it's the same kind of stuff of like, oh, the Bible has been rewritten all you know so many times and da, 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 da. it's the same stuff where it's like although we live in this age that is full of information right where there is a ton of information if you really wanted to get to the bottom of stuff people refuse to reject that information and they refuse they reject that information and refuse to actually seek the truth and what they do is hang on to just narratives that are out there and at the end of the day these are excuses that people are going to use simply because they don't want to obey God's word, right? Some of us have been there before. I mean, I, I know myself having used those kind of excuses or those uh, so-called rebuttals to people who are in the faith to kind of make them feel as though like, nah, man, don't push your God stuff on me. When I was in the world, I would use those kind of excuses uh, simply because I just didn't want to deal with any reality of God even potentially or the Bible potentially being God's word and it having uh, authority and therefore me needing to adhere to what it says for her to use this right here and try to discourage this young lady yet again, man, it, it frustrates me. It actually really frustrates me that uh, this is how she's uh, treating this young lady right here. Okay. What do I need to be protected from? I mean, the devil, yeah. But you do know physically that, you know, uh, you know, they talk about a lot of things in the spirit realm, but you know, the devil is you and the devil and God is you. You do know that, right? No. Yeah. Because in order to know good, you have to know bad. So you have to do bad things and make mistakes in order to learn. Oh, yeah. Otherwise that's not. I know so, that we was all born in the sin. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call it sin. I would. Why? Because um, that's what it's saying in the Bible, and that's what Adam and Eve did. Okay. Yeah, because um, the devil, he came, he uh, told her, like, to go ahead and eat the apple. She ate it, and she had uh, Eve eat it. And then they got kicked out of eating. At first, like, it was perfect. Like, mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? Uh, eating, it was perfect. It was, like, the place God made for them. It was, like, a beautiful place. All the food tastes good then. He said, just don't eat from here. Then, you know, the devil, like like you said, the devil, he was he was there. And because, you know, he got cast down from heaven. So he was he was there on earth and he told him, like, yeah, just just eat it. You know, temptation. That's that's what you said. Bad stuff. We mm -hmm. all get tempted every day. Well, I mean, it's, it's a part of who we are. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a must do. And so. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, listen, listen. Okay. I mean, there's so many things wrong that she said there that I don't even know where she's pulling this stuff from, right? I have no clue where this stuff is coming from, where it's like, oh, you know that she says she actually at, at first said something about the devil is in you and, and God is in you or something to that effect and talk, asked her, are you, you know, like, what if you're a God or something like that? I mean, it's like, what are we talking about here? Um, you know, because I have studied a lot about theology and spirituality and, mm -hmm. you know, who actually wrote the Bible and how mm -hmm. was it written and, mm -hmm. you know, challenging the facts on how do they know exactly what happened at that moment? Because we do have uh, the Quran. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you familiar with the Quran? Yeah. Okay. My brother Muslim. Uh, okay. And mm -hmm. then we have, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, Buddhism, mm -hmm. the Lotus Sutra, mm -hmm. which teaches peace and the um and it's more internal it's not more so external it, mm -hmm. you know buddhism teaches you you know what's that you are in control mm -hmm. not some other factor out there controlling you not a devil you know not god because you are all you encompass it all and so mm -hmm. when you know that mm -hmm. is when you'll 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 start to see real change in your life because it's you accepting in that moment that i am who i am because of the choices that i made mm -hmm. yeah. you know mm -hmm. 
So, um, you know, this is a very different world, Vicky, from, you know, watching your videos and seeing your growth. Mm -hmm. I'm not, and this is no diss to you, mm -hmm. only because I got a lot more age on you. Mm -hmm. I feel that this is a, it's a phase, it's a safe space for you. And, you know, human beings, mm -hmm. there's a lot more to us than just a conversation about God. Mm -hmm. You know, because God, whether you, you want to acknowledge it or not, is the reason why you are who you are. Mm -hmm. Not the devil. Well, I know. You know? Yeah, he gave me life. Right. God, not the devil. He gave you a mother. Yeah. He gave you a father. He gave you a personality. He gave you a character. Mm -hmm. Everything. And so, um, and he gave us free will, but we have to, we oh, yeah. have to know that That's why eternal. he loves us so much. Yo, man, look, man, I don't know, man. I do not know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Because she says so much, man. I'm trying not to, you know, forget <laughs> some of these things that she's saying because it's just there's a lot of trash here, basically, man. So it's hard to, you know, keep up with, you know, uh, large amounts of, of garbage, you know. So um, she talked about at the beginning of that portion, they're talking about you know, Buddhism and, you know, the Quran and all these other things. And I'm like, what is the actual uh, purpose of you mentioning that? And what is, what's the validity of that? Like you basically, cause she's not even making any truth claims based on those things. Right. So she just said, Oh, you know, there is the Quran, there's Buddhism, there's this. Yeah. So what? I mean, there, there's witchcraft, there's all kinds of stuff. There's African spiritualism. There's all kinds of, you know, ancestral worship, whatever it is. There's a bunch of things, Hinduism, you name it. But are those things true? That's what it is. It's like just just because it's out there doesn't mean that it has any weight to it. Right. Doesn't just because it's out there doesn't mean that it's valid or that we even need to, you know, pay attention to it. None of this stuff has any truth claims that have the weight, the evidence, whether it's archaeological, uh, scientific. None of this stuff has the evidence that supports what the scriptures say. Right. None of it. None of it. You know, so it's like, why are we even talking about this? Right. I mean, it's 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 so crazy. And then to just basically flat out say, I'm not trying to discourage you, but I think this is just a phase at the end of the day. She's like, man, you you young. This is a phase. You're going to get over it, man. I, I remember I remember myself, man, like the first time the first time I ever heard the gospel and had like just a little experience. I mean, it was a false conversion, of course, but it was just a time of hearing the gospel and being like, OK, um, you know, turn it away from it. Right. But I remember when I heard it and then when I went to try and tell my, my homies who I used to hang out with the kind of stuff they said, the kind of stuff they said and how there was like the, the who, who hide the, the laughing, the, all this stuff and how it was like, bro, this is just a phase. They could not wait. You know what I'm saying? They could not wait for me to just slip back and be back to doing what I was doing before. There's a lot of ways we can view these things. And one thing I don't want to do is become cynical because there are so many celebrities who have claimed faith in Christ. And then at the end of the day, we see what they're doing and it is far from that. Right. But uh, yeah. So, I mean, we don't want to become cynical like that. We definitely want to uh, pray for uh, these individuals who are making professions of faith or moving in the direction uh, let's do that because let's continue to believe that God can save anybody and he truly can. If you've been in, in church for any amount of time, there are wild stories or even our own stories at times that we could tell that you can't believe God, what God has brought you from to where you are, are at today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear from y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. And if then you have been raised with Christ, Seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. All right. God bless y'all. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.